Hi kids! Welcome to Foundation Stage 2 Arts and Crafts Lesson 21. Lesson Objective Learners will be able to promote innovation, creativity and develop their fine motor skills. Enhance problem solving. Promote stress relief. Convey ideas. Express emotion. Use their senses. Explore color. Explore process and outcomes. Children, do you know about the Chinese dragon? Hmm, yes. In the Chinese culture, the dragon represents good luck, strength, health. In many other cultures such as the Western, they look at the dragon as a symbol of evil and darkness. But in China, they regard the dragon as being a symbol representing imperial power and authority. Today, let us make a dragon craft to celebrate the Chinese New Year 2021. Materials needed are A piece of yarn Coloured paper strips Liquid glue, googly eyes, a small triangle and a big triangle out of paper, and a piece of black paper. Today you will be making your own Chinese New Year inspired dragon with bright colors and the Chinese symbol for good luck in the corner of your paper. Let's get started. Turn your black piece of paper over and place a sticky label on it and your name on the label. Now choose a colored piece of yarn and experiment with the shape that you want your dragon to be. An S shape is a good shape to start with. Make sure you leave room for a head and a tail at the end of your dragon. After you are satisfied with the placement of your yarn, take a pencil and trace the location of your yarn. Step 3. Pick up the yarn off of your paper and trace the pencil line with a thin layer of liquid glue. Notice that you only need a small amount of glue to stick down the thin yarn. Step 4. Lightly press your yarn down on the glue. Don't worry if you can see a little bit of glue sticking out from behind your yarn. When this glue dries, it will be invisible. Step 5. Start cutting thin strips to create the body of your dragon. You can choose several different colors for these strips. Make sure you hold the side of the paper that you are not cutting so that your fingers are not too close to your scissors. Feel free to be creative with this part of your dragon. If you would prefer to do other kinds of shapes, you can do that. Just make sure to remember that we don't have a lot of time, so do not make your shapes too intricate. Step 6. Starting at one end of your dragon, begin gluing your strips or shapes along your dragon's spine until you have filled up the dragon's entire body. Remember to only use a small amount of glue. Don't worry if you can see it sticking out from behind your pieces, it will dry clear. Leave a small section of yarn at both ends of your dragon because you're going to be sticking on a head and a tail. Step seven, cut two triangle shapes, one small and one big, to form the head and tail of your dragon. Add a small amount of glue to each one and stick them in place. Step 8. Now you can add details to your dragon. You can glue two small googly eyes on your dragon's head. You can cut two small triangle type shapes to make horns or ears on your dragon's head. And you can also add a lizard-like tongue if you would like. Here is an example of what your dragon might Reflection time. Do a creative dragon 
with any other material you like. And don't forget to share your videos and photos in assignment. Thank you.